However, oh. However, she never married and did not have an heir. Therefore, the end of her rule will lead to a much harsher rule from the Stuart kings. Interesting factoid. Although she never married, she did have lots of boyfriends, and Sir Walter Riley was one of her favorites. Okay, back to the story at hand. Raleigh gets permission to try to colonize once again. This time, it will work. Not without its trials and tribulations, mind you, but Jamestown will be the first permanent English settlement in America. Let me repeat that. Jamestown will be the first permanent English settlement in America. It was founded in 1607. This is one of those years you must memorize. So, let's say it together. Jamestown was founded in 1607. Okay, again and louder. Everyone in, the, in, the, in your house should hear you. Jamestown was founded in 1607. The goal of Jamestown was to make money. Believe it or not, they actually thought they would find gold. The Virginia Colony. Raleigh thought he would be smart this time and let the men go first to set up the colony and then send over families. He thought there would be a better chance of survival. Okay, I have to laugh at this. They truly thought they were going to make it without the women? These settlers spent their days digging for gold. No one worked. They each wanted to be the one to strike it rich. Also, they settled in a swampy location. They thought it would be good to settle near the coast. I get that, but in a swamp? Not so smart. The water was nasty. There were bugs everywhere that helped to spread disease. There wasn't any real food supply either. And no one was working on establishing a food supply. After the first winter, only 30 survived out of 105. Okay, so let's recap that. 105 started. After that first winter, we have 30 survivors. Obviously, something or something, someone or something had to change. Enter our hero of the hour, John, yes, John Smith. John Smith saved Jamestown by instituting the work or star rule. Basically, every colonist must contribute to society, to the greater good, farming, building, etc. If you did not put in your time, you did not eat a lime. <laughs> in order to eat, you had to work. This idea of working for the greater good is a principle that we should all institute. Many of our founding fathers did. This concept came can also be known as civic virtue, putting your country's needs ahead of your own. Speaking of getting ahead, we are way ahead of ourselves. Let's get back to John Smith. He saved the colony. Yay! Go, John! Go, John! It's your birthday. Go, John. 